Oh, right. Our second example problem, our practice problem. Oh, it's a subtraction. I want you to circle those. I like circling those. I don't know if you've noticed. All right, our first step. We've got to separate. All right. Our ones, our tens, and our hundreds. Now, because we are subtracting, we only have to draw that top number. So let's draw that top number. We have one, five flat, five flat, and then two units. You see, we don't have any tens. Ooh, this one's gonna be a really hard regrouping problem. So I don't know if we were quite there yet, but now we're gonna get it. All right, so we have to somehow cross out eight ones, but I don't have eight ones. But I know I can circle one of my hundreds and I can exchange it for some rods, so I don't have any rods. I'm gonna exchange it for 10 rods. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Now I have some rods. And now I wanna do a double exchange. So we're gonna circle a rod and we're gonna cross it out and we're gonna exchange that rod for 10 units. Now this was a tricky problem. I'm impressed if you got it. And now we're just gonna start crossing out. We got lots to cross out. So how many ones are we crossing out? Yep, eight. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. How many do I have left? Yeah, only got four left. All right, now I'm crossing out four tens, four Rods, one, two, three, four. Remember, I don't count that one because it's already crossed out. How many do I have left? One, two, three, four, five. And now I'm going to cross out one flat. Remember, that's already gone. He doesn't exist anymore. So how many flats do I have left? One, two, three. My answer is 354. That was the hardest one we've done, guys. That was double regrouping. So if you got this, check plus plus. All right, see you later, guys.